All right, what's going on, guys? I'm bringing you story time episode number 24. This actually just happened to me today, this morning. I was at the doctor's office. Now, I know that you're probably wondering, well, Birdman, why were you at the doctor's office? Are you all right? Well, yes, everything is fine. Uh, I was actually trying to keep this a secret, but I guess I can just tell you now. I was actually going in for my first consultation on my gender reassignment surgery. I I've just been feeling that life is just a little bit too difficult recently. Uh, I'm tired of living on veteran difficulty, so I decided that I would like to become a female so I can start living on recruit difficulty. So I was just going in to talk to the doctor and kind of see what my options are, see what the procedure is like. But right when I walk in, I, I end up seeing that the waiting room is pretty crowded, right? So I go up to the front desk, I check in, you know, they give me some forms to fill out or whatever, and I go sit down to wait for my appointment, right? And then about five minutes after I walk in, uh, this other woman walks in, and I'm gonna have to be honest here, she was definitely what we could consider a beluga. This is actually my first encounter with a beluga at such close quarters. Usually I see them from far away or on the internet, but I have never had this this good of a view of one before and I was quite taken aback man if I had to estimate her stature I would say she was probably about five foot six three hundred pounds she was pretty fucking hefty man I gotta think she was in the 300s but Anyways, we're all sitting there in the waiting room. It's pretty quiet, so you can kind of hear what everyone is saying, especially this creature when she's talking to the receptionist because she was quite loud. And it seems that this whale was about 30 minutes late for her appointment, and they told her that now she's going to have to wait. But I mean, honestly, they probably should have cut her a little bit of slack because it probably took her like 22 minutes just to get out of her car and walk to the front door. So obviously that's a pretty long process process when you weigh 397 pounds but regardless they tell her hey you know go sit down she's filling out her forms or whatever she's waiting for appointment at this point she wasn't really too upset. I guess she kind of understood, okay, yeah, I was late. Obviously, I'm going to have to wait. So about 20 minutes go by, and I'm still waiting. Apparently, they were having some issues today. Everything was, like, super delayed. So after about 20 minutes, I guess that this water buffalo thought that that had been an appropriate amount of time to wait. So she stands up, and I, I think I may have felt the earth shake a little bit when she did, but she walked, well, more likely waddled back up to the desk, and she asked them if she was ready to go in yet and they inform her that no since she was late they have let other people who came in on time go in before her so now she's kind of like at the back of the list you know she has to wait quite a bit now this wildebeest was not very happy to hear this she immediately raises her voice she has now gone from like stage three wildebeest to like stage six she's getting upset i mean i thought whales were supposed to be gentle friendly creatures but i guess not so she kind of gets mad she's like well you know what when is it gonna be my turn? I need a time estimate. You know, I'm not gonna wait here all day long. You guys need to tell me exactly when I'm gonna go in. This is unacceptable. Whatever shit she was saying, I don't know. She was freaking out. And the people at the front desk were like, well, you know what, ma'am? It's it's probably gonna be like another 30 minutes at least. And she was not happy to hear that news, but she went and sat back down in her chair. And now what happens next? I, I can't make this up. I promise to you, I, I wish this didn't happen, but I literally saw saw her go back down, sit in her chair, reach into her purse, and pull out a Snickers bar and eat it. I was mind blown. I, I thought I was in a movie, all right? I was like, what? I was just looking at her eat this Snickers bar. I was like, are you serious right now? I guess all that yelling and standing up made her hungry. I'm not sure. I really wanted to like stand up, walk over there and take a picture of her, but there was a sign that said, please do not photograph the animals. So I kind of didn't want to get in trouble for doing that. So I just let her eat her Snickers bar. But at this point, everyone in the waiting room is kind of just observing this creature wondering what's gonna happen next I don't even know any of these people but we're all kind of just like giving each other that look like hey is this bitch serious like you know what's going on here you know we're all kind of just laughing on the inside at what's going on here so then I'd say like another 20 minutes passes by so by this point I've been waiting for like 45 minutes I mean even I'm not too happy about this but I'm also a normal human being so I'm not gonna make a scene about it but you guys have to remember we're dealing with the hippopotamus 
Anonymous here. So at this point, we have a new character introduced to the story because now her husband walks in. I guess she texted him to come inside or something. I don't know. Maybe he was sitting in the car or maybe he just dropped her off and was doing something else. I don't know what the situation is. But her husband comes inside and I guess, you know, she's kind of awared him on the situation. So he's trying to come see what the problem is. And I got to say, this dude is not in her weight class. As I said, she's easily 300 pounds. She's a clear heavyweight. She'd have to cut some weight to make heavyweight. She's a super heavyweight, all right? She, she on that Roy Nelson bod, all right? And now this guy, on the other hand, he can't be more than like a welterweight. You know, he, he was like 170 with a dad bod. Imagine like a Nick Diaz. So we got a Roy Nelson and a Nick Diaz. That was the matchup going on here. I gotta give him some credit. I don't know how he managed to wrangle in this cow, but he got her, so he must be strong. I don't know. So she kind of further explains the situation to him now, and surprisingly, it seems that he's actually a normal person. He's like, well, you know what, honey? Let's just sit down and wait for a little bit longer, and we'll see what happens. You know, he was being very rational about it. She's like, okay, whatever. He kind of calmed her down a little bit. So another 15 minutes goes by so at this point I've been waiting for a goddamn hour even I'm kind of pissed right now you know I'm not happy but as I said I happen to be normal so I wasn't freaking out but the human rhinoceros on the other hand she was done she was fed up so she gets back up goes right up to the desk and she's like you know what forget it okay I'm just done I want to reschedule I'm leaving and the lady at the desk was like well actually ma'am it's only gonna be about another 10 minutes now so we'll be seeing you very soon if you would like to wait but she's like you know what I don't care I don't want to be here any longer I just want to leave now the husband who actually has some common sense is trying to talk to her and explain you know that you've already spent like an hour here why don't you just go ahead and spend another 10 minutes so that way you don't have to come all the way back here again and probably have to wait again you know you've already waited the majority of the time it's better just to wait a little bit longer since you've already wasted so much time but she was was not having it man he should have probably offered her some snacks or something he needs to just have some snacks at all times available to calm her down because for those 51 seconds that she took to eat that snickers bar she was very happy i didn't hear one word come out of her mouth i was actually very impressed that she was able to inhale an entire snickers bar in under a minute that was quite impressive but thankfully at this point the nurse comes out and she calls my name and it is time for me to go into the back for my appointment so unfortunately I did not get to see how this whole situation played out I can say once I came out and I was leaving I did not see her in the lobby anymore I didn't see her in the waiting room or anything so she either left or maybe she was in the back for her appointment I don't really know what was going on there I don't know what she was there for you know diabetes or something but I'd imagine that it would probably take quite a long time to examine her her. I mean, that's a lot of surface area to cover, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna need the calculator to add that up. You know, we got like 400 square feet of surface area over there. You got to cover if you're examining her. So probably would take quite a long time. But anyways, that is it for my story. This was my closest encounter with the beluga whale in real life. And I got to say, it was everything that I expected it to be. And I look forward to future whale sightings. Hopefully I can get the next one on camera and I can submit it to National Geographic or something. Because this was a sight to see and my story does not do it justice you needed to see it with your own eyes but anyways thank you guys so much for watching be sure to have a like rating if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not already follow me on twitter links in the description down below other than that have a good day and peace out